Grand Theft Auto V is now a $6 billion game, according to this article from IGN, linked below in the description section. Grand Theft Auto V has made more money than any film, book, or game, says an analyst. Let's see, industrial analyst Doug Krutz says that Grand Theft Auto V has made more money than any other form of media in history. Over 90 million units sold and $6 billion in revenue. Kurtz is the managing director and senior research analyst covering the media and entertainment sector of Cohen told Market Watch that the game has made uh, more than blockbuster movies like Star Wars, Gone with the Wind, which both brought around $3 billion in theaters when adjusted for inflation, Kurtz estimates that even with home entertainment sales, which he puts in the ballpark of a million dollars, the films don't come close to Rockstar's 2013 title. Quote unquote, I think it's a wild outlier, Cruz adding. It's not to say that Rockstar won't have other big hits. It may, but another Grand Theft Auto V isn't likely. Michael Jackson had a lot of hit albums, but he only had one thriller, quote unquote. As with most analyst statements, some of this is based off information that uh, we're not privy to, so take the wilder conclusions with a grain of salt. Be that as it may, there's no doubt in Grand Theft Auto V's incredible success. At the end of last year, Grand Theft Auto V sold 85 million copies and continues to appear on MPD's monthly list of best-selling games in the U.S. The title has remained in the top 10 in the U.K. charts for months, often still breaking the top five four years after release. According to Take-Two CEO Strauss Zelnick, Grand Theft Auto V was on 42 out of 50 MPD Monthly's top 10 charts last year, the most appearances of any single game on MPD's rankings. Now, real quick, regarding the subtitle, no wonder we haven't seen a sequel. Well, a big factor is probably Grand Theft Auto Online. It's been also a successful moneymaker for Rockstar and Take-Two when it comes to uh, shark cards. That's an entirely different number besides the $6 billion dollars regarding how many units of Grand Theft Auto V have been sold. That includes last gen and current gen. Xbox 360, PlayStation 3, PlayStation 4, Xbox One, as well as PC. But there's other factors that explain why Rockstar hasn't even announced a Grand Theft Auto VI yet. Obviously because we have Red Dead Redemption 2 coming in October, hopefully. So a lot of their development team is focused on that. I realize there's several development houses under Rockstar like Take-Two San Diego, which predominantly focuses on Red Dead and Rockstar North in Scotland, and that's specifically for Grand Theft Auto, but they do work together, and there's some smaller ones as well within the Rockstar umbrella. And going back to Grand Theft Auto Online, there's still a lot of people playing it, not as much as there used to be, but Rockstar is still making content for it, and new content also takes time to make, so they're obviously putting aside uh, development assets to build new cars, and new properties, new clothing, new business ventures. Now, there's a very real possibility that that could be winding down this year with Red Dead Redemption 2 and most likely Red Dead Online coming out in the fall, but only time will tell when it comes to uh, the future of Grand Theft Auto Online. Whatever the future might be for Grand Theft Auto Online, it is extremely impressive that Grand Theft Auto 5 has sold over 90 million units across the world over five platforms netting in six billion dollars in revenue that is phenomenal i don't think that red dead redemption 2 is going to reach that number but i am very interested to see if grand theft auto 6 will even come close to grand theft auto 5 when it comes to the amount of units sold as well as the amount of money it potentially will make i have no doubt that Rockstar is most likely already planning and perhaps even working on the next Grand Theft Auto game. What it happens to be about, where the location happens to be, along with uh, the timeline, and whether or not it connects with any of the other previous Grand Theft Auto games, remains to be seen.